Okay, so I wanted to spend a little bit more time explaining the three steps or the three stages of EFT. And these three steps are really designed and the way that I teach it simply because I found it makes it really easy to understand for students. And it also makes it easy as a practitioner or if I'm doing it on myself, I kind of just follow these three steps and therefore I never really get lost or confused when I'm using EFT. Okay, so I go into it in much more detail actually in my EFT level one, level two practitioner level training. So if you're interested in that, then feel free to check out the links connected, visit my website and you'll be taken uh, to that training. But I just wanted to touch upon it right now. So what are the three steps? The first step is what I call allowing the feeling. More accurately, allowing the uncomfortable feeling. Usually we call it anxiety, stress, guilt, anger, shame, even physical pain. These are all really uncomfortable feelings. And most of us don't like them. And so we do everything we can to avoid them or suppress them. And there's many, many different kind of coping mechanisms whenever we feel it. So what's different about EFT and this type of process is that we are actually allowing the uncomfortable feeling. We are even welcoming uncomfortable feeling because what this means is, is that we are accessing a particular file in the mind, in the subconscious mind, and we're bringing that file up so that it's activated. We are allowing the, the stored emotion, the file, to be accessed. And we, and we feel uncomfortable inside. The neurology is stressed. The chemistry is stressed. So this is actually step one of EFT working. What do we do next? The, the second step is we then have to train and tell the nervous system and the brain that it's safe. If the brain and the nervous system doesn't feel safe, you can't really get anywhere with it. it. It's not receptive to any new information coming in. It's as if like the nervous system goes into a shutdown and it coils up into tight, like it's gripping something. And when the nervous system is in that grip, there's really no way for it to learn anything new. So we have to kind of train the nervous system and tell the nervous system that it's safe. Then it starts to loosen the grip and be receptive to new information coming in. Now, this is not a bad thing. This is actually the way the system is designed and it's actually, a, it's trying to protect us. The nervous system goes into these states because it thinks you're in danger and it's trying its best from its programming to protect us. So even though it is unpleasant and restricts a lot of our growth and it restricts a lot of our healing, it may be helpful to know that it's actually trying to protect us. So there's kind of a lovingness in there, a forgivingness in there. And then that also helps it to relax. So once the nervous system starts relaxing and is receptive to new information, then we move into the third step which is the willingness to let go. So this means that when we feel uncomfortable, that, and we, we learn that we can actually let it go, is that we're actually willing to let it go. Now, fascinatingly, many people, or some of us, there's some things inside that we don't want to let go of, even if they're uncomfortable. It could be a memory, it could be some kind of trauma, some kind of, usually it's some kind of identity with something. Even if it's unpleasant, it's still an identity. It's still a story. And so when an opportunity comes that we could actually let go of the story, let go of the feeling, and move into an unknown space, sometimes we don't want to do that. So in all healing, 
and transformation is the willingness to let go of something old and the courage to move into a space that's unknown. And basically, it's the unknown space where the healing and, and everything is actually occurring. But it takes courage to get there. The other thing about letting go is that most of us know intellectually that it's a good thing to do. You know, we often say things like, oh, let it go, get over it, or I'm over it, right? I'm over that relationship. But we don't really know how to let go biologically, energetically, neurologically. We usually let go intellectually, and that's kind of as far as we get. So with EFT, you actually learn and feel the process of allowing and letting certain things go. Right? And this is a very powerful thing to know. And I think this is a piece we're really missing in schools and all this sort of stuff is what is the, the process and how does it feel to actually let something go? Not intellectually, but experientially. And so once all those three steps and three stages are in place, then healing and transformation is fast and rapid. Right? So if EFT doesn't work, sometimes it's because one of these stages is missing. Right? Um, it could be even though you're doing the, the process, you're not really allowing the feeling. You're still avoiding the feeling. Right? You're saying the right things and doing the right things, but you're still avoiding the feeling that we're trying to reprogram. Or the nervous system is still in stress. It's not, it's not, it doesn't feel safe. So even if you've got the best intention to heal, your nervous system is overriding your capacity to heal okay? because of the, the, the state it's in. And thirdly, you may not be willing to actually let go or know how it feels to let go because you may have a strong identity, identity with a certain thing of the past or a certain story that even though intellectually you're saying, I actually want to get over this, but deep down, you're not wanting to let it go. So these are all three things to be aware of. And when I go through EFT and teach it is that if you do the first stage, it becomes easy to do the second stage. And then once you've done the first and second stage, the third stage is easier. So they kind of build up on each other and that's how it becomes more powerful. So as a quick summary, the first step is you've got to allow the uncomfortable feeling. The second stage is you've got to train and tell your nervous system and your body that it's safe. And it has to start letting go. Then it makes it easier to move to the third stage, which is the willingness to let go and the actual feeling and the process of letting it move through. That's the three steps. So if you want to know more and dive deeper, uh, check out my website for more training. If not, I'll see you in the next video.